morning, Madison, and anyone else who watches these. No, I am not talking about strip clubs in Nazi Germany. There weren't even strip clubs in Europe until the 1950s, so they didn't even exist in Nazi Germany. Really what I want to talk about is controversial topics, which both strip clubs and Nazi Germany are. Usually people have this thought that we should all just get along, and why can't we get along? But I think controversy is actually a good thing. Controversial topics bring really important matters to light. For instance, right now people are talking about marijuana legalization. There are arguments that marijuana is actually healthier for you than cigarettes. I don't know how legitimate these arguments are or if they were scientifically tested because I couldn't find any hard facts on the subject and I found arguments for both points. But the important thing is that the controversy that marijuana legalization has caused has made people talk about cigarettes, which are hazardous to your health but haven't been discussed even though they've been here for centuries. So not only are we talking about marijuana, which is a current issue, we're talking about cigarettes, which have been around for a really long time and need to be discussed. Controversial topics also present two sides of a story. Usually, people only think of their side and they think of it as the right side. But maybe they don't know everything about the other side, and it, even if they do know about the other side and their side, it's always interesting to see what other people are thinking. You can't just dismiss what they say as not true, because it very well could be, and for them it is. Recently, my friends and I had a discussion about strip clubs, and I know that's a really weird topic to talk about, but some people had the viewpoint that strippers must be confident to be able to show off their bodies in such a revealing way that many of us would not even think of doing. Whereas other people thought that they were not confident and they lacked confidence because they didn't think highly enough of themselves to not exploit their bodies in that way. And while I see both sides of the story, I only side with one of them. However, I never really thought of it in the other way before. So it was a very interesting conversation to have, regardless of what I actually believe. Also with Nazis, I don't think what they did was right or in any way condone it, but it's still very interesting to see psychologically how they came to think this way and do those things, and how they even spread their ideas when they were such bad ideas and yet so widely accepted by their population. I guess why I like controversy is because it helps to spread new and interesting ideas, and even though they may not be your ideas and you might not agree with them, they're still people's ideas and people still do agree with these things. And understanding these controversial ideas, whether you agree with them or not, is something that helps to make you understand more of the human population. Whether it's to get a better perspective on my dorm room, on my campus, on my state, on my country, or of the world, controversial topics really do help you understand other people. I guess that's it for today. Madison, I'll see you on Friday.